on today's show. What is this roadblock? What do you need to confront? I'm involved with a married man. I want him to be with me and leave his wife. Okay. I felt the greatest thing I ever loved slipping away from me, and I don't know what happened, and I just flipped out that day. And you got violent. physically violent with her? Yes, I did. You're the first person I ever heard say I went out my love, got drunk, slept with another woman, came back home, packed up and moved out? Yes, what, Well, what happened with the other girlfriend now that you want her back? She turned out to be a tramp. Excuse me. Newsflash, Brian. forget all of our guests today are trying to win back the hearts of the ones they love you'll meet a man who let his hormones get the best of him now he is crawling back to beg his girlfriend for another chance our first guest erica white thought she had a firm hold on her man until she ran into a major roadblock she's here to confront it head on erica we have your man lavelle backstage now, he can't hear anything, he can't see anything, he knows nothing. What is this roadblock? What do you need to confront? I'm involved with a married man. Oh. <laughs> well, mother love, it all started um, about, like, me and him been involved for like eight months. I didn't know he was married at first because he didn't tell me. Like, three to about four months in a relationship, we we start having like sex. You know what I'm saying? We were sexually involved and everything. So, um, like about four to, I mean, like about four to five months ago, you know what I'm saying? He called me and told me he was married and he got four kids. He called you? What? You've been intimate with this man and then he calls you and tells you, oh, Erica, by the way, what did he yeah. say to you? Um, he called me from work talking about, I'm married. So I was shocked all that day. You know what I'm saying? Because I could not believe that. You know what I'm Wait, saying? Wait how did you not know you were married? He was married, Erica. He would spend the night over my house. I gave him a key to my house. <laughs> no, no. That, that would kind of make you think that he doesn't have a wife if he's got a key and coming over your yeah. house spending the night. So then after that, um, me and his wife, we met at Section 8. A low income house. Okay, I know about Section 8, okay, you, know, you know, government subsidized okay. housing. Wait a minute. We've, we've so had, how, does she, how do you know it's his wife, or how does she know you're the mistress? Okay. Because so, that's what you were. Uh -huh. Yeah. He had told me that he's supposed to took her down there, right, to, I guess, fill out applications or whatever. So I went down there because at the time when he told me he was married, I was hurt. So I went down there just to see how his life, you know what I'm saying? So I found out he had, he never told me he had a baby that's in a car seat. They just, she just wished he had a baby. And um, so um, she confronted me. She came over there and she was like, do you know him? And I said, yes. She was like, well, where do you know him from? I was like, well, we met at the park. And then she was like asking me more questions like, what is y'all kicking it? Is y'all having sex and all that stuff? I felt that I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to answer no more her questions. I said, that's your husband. You need to ask him. So then she began to call me and all that stuff out my name. Told me, how you going to this and all this stuff? Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. That was in the Section 8 office. You here with Mother Love, baby. Okay. Clean it up. <laughs> Wait a minute, but I gotta, just let me, re, you know, rewind with you for a moment on the sex part. And he's got four kids. So obviously, you know, with his wife, he's having unprotected sex. And with you, and you're only 22, tell me that you were having protected sex with this man. <laughs> no, um, no, I wasn't. But, Mother Love, he told me, um, him and her use condoms. Oh, yeah, right, sure. And you believe that, huh? Erica. Wait, why he's not listening to us? It sounds like to me he's lying. Like big time to you. Like every chance he gets. I mean, stop and think. Just stop and think just for a moment. You're 22 years old. This man is 30. 
He's obviously been around the block. He has a wife. Common sense should tell you, Erica, to use protection, to protect Erica. I don't care what he says. I'm talking about you. So, now, what is it that you Mother want love, today? I asked him. I even had, I had some condoms, and I asked him to use it. But he don't want to use it. And I well, tell him the consequence of me, you know, getting pregnant. Well, you know what? The issue is about the condoms, but that right now is not why you're here. What are you here to find out from Lavelle? <laughs> I want him to be with me and leave his wife. Okay. You all just be quiet, just wait a minute. Because it's not, if this is about Erica and what she wants. But from this man. Wait a minute, you wanna tell him? Let it, let's get him set up so you can tell him what it is that you want. We go, nope, just a minute, we go, we, you gonna work with Lavelle here. There, take him off, hello Lavelle. Hello. How are you, just look at me, I can see you. Now, do you recognize this beautiful young woman right here? Oh, oh. Oh. Well, baby, it's a little late. Pick your face up off the carpet because she has something to tell you and to demand from you. You go right ahead, Erica. Go ahead. Um, I brought you on the show today. I mean, you know I love you. And, um... Just a minute, come on. Now you brought him this far. <laughs> because I love him. Well, you turn around and you tell him what it is that you need. I mean, you tell me that you are happy. And all I want to do is make you happy. And I love you. And um, I wanted you to choose me or your wife today. But if you, if you, um, choose your wife then I want you to stop calling me and I want you to stop coming over and I want you to just, just leave me alone because I mean I mean I want the decision today whichever whichever what you make um. so Lavelle <laughs> Lavelle Oh, yeah, it's deep. But I want you to understand what this young lady in tears is asking from you, is expecting from you. She's expecting a decision. If you're going to be with her, you come through that door. If you're not, you stay where you are. We're going to take a break while you decide what it is that you want to do. We'll be right back. Jen. My princess, you know I love you. I'm willing to get the help that, I, that before I said I didn't need. And I know I need the help. I love you more than anything in this world. You're my everything. You're everything in the world to me. I've never, ever hurt you again. I promise you. Yeah. Are you tired of paying 7792 Or go to Bosley.com now. That's 1-800-569-7792. White just shocked her unsuspecting boyfriend with an ultimatum. She wants him to decide today between her or his wife. Erica, I understand you didn't know what you were getting into when you fell in love with this young man, but you know what the situation is now, and you know what's at stake. Are you ready to take your place in front of that door? Come on, girl, look, we done brought you all the way here. You better go on over there. <laughs> All right, Erica, let's open that door. <laughs> In affairs of the heart, it is so hard. Now you know what that means, him not being there. Let's talk to him, Lavelle. 
Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Talk to Erica. Uh, Erica, I just want you to know that I, I'm very sorry for what I've done to you. Uh, I mean, I, I care, I care about you very deeply, and but my marriage is something I just can't risk right now. I, I mean, I wish I could just, you know, make everything right, and I wish I could have met you 11 years ago. You know, I. I just, you know, I'm so sorry. I, I should have been straightforward in the beginning. Uh, and I, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I mean, it's, this hurts me also. But right now, I just, I have to be with my wife and family. Well, we have a few questions and comments, yes. There's a comment for her. All I gotta say is, you're 22, you're not bad looking, you're obviously good looking. He's married, you can't expect him to leave his wife. And on the other hand, if he leaves his wife for you, what makes you think that if you get married with him, he's not gonna do the same for you? Yes, ma'am. You're sorry right now until the next Erica come along. You're sorry now, only because you got caught. Now that you've seen the decision that he's made, are you going to continue to see him? No, I'm done. Are you done? That's the smartest thing. You, I want, what I'd like for you to do so that he understands. Because you said if he doesn't choose you, you want him to stop calling. I want you to reiterate that to him so that he understands where you're coming from. Bill, since you made your choice, I want you to leave me alone. I want you to stop calling me. And, um, and see, Lavelle, you know you are as wrong as two left shoes. Because just like you hurt this woman, you know you hurt somebody else. You hurt five other people. You have a wife out there. You got a lot of nerve saying to her, your marriage it's too much for you to risk. You should have thought about that when you didn't tell this young lady you had a wife from the beginning. And if you didn't want to be with your wife, you should have left her. And if you knew you weren't going to leave her, you just can't go around playing with people's emotions and think it's okay. You're going to have a whole nother set of circumstances to deal with when you get home. Because I can't even imagine what's going to jump off when you get back to your house. You're going to be in a world of trouble. So if I were you, I would chalk this one up for a speed, get my grip, pick my face up, hold on to my heart, and keep right on stepping. Trust me, what don't kill you, you'll learn from it. You'll be okay. Thank you for sharing your story. We'll be right back. My girlfriend and I were inseparable. But then I made up a lie about me and her best friend and messed everything up. Then I made the situation worse by losing control. I'll do anything to get her back. If you want to take that same chance with someone in your life, don't wait any longer. Call us here, forgive or forget. I'm Mother Love, and remember, never underestimate the power of forgiveness. Yeah!